So I'm always getting questions about what products I use in my hair. So I decided to just go ahead and make a video on that because if I were to answer everyone's question, like each and every person that asked me that question, my hair will probably blow off. So I just decided to make a video on that about the products I use in my hair and I'm going to show you each and every product I use in my hair, like every single one. So this might be a long video. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys the products I use to wash my hair. And for the shampoo, I use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. I use this line. I use the shampoo, the conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner. So that's what I use to wash my hair. And I wash my hair with shampoo every two weeks. And I co-wash my hair twice a week or once a week. I don't co-wash using my Shea Moisture products. I co-wash using uh, my Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner. It looks like this. Why the buckle been up to? It looks like this. And I buy the big bottle because I co-wash my hair a lot. And I love this thing. I love, 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 love this thing. I use this to co-wash twice a week or once a week. Whenever I, and the reason why I wash my hair twice a week is because I use gel and I hate the buildup. I hate having buildups and I hate seeing those white flakes in my hair. So whenever I see that, I wash my hair. And I don't want to wash my hair with shampoo more than twice a week because that strips your hair of the natural oils. And the moisturizer I use in my hair is the Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Moisturizer. That is what I use to moisturize my hair. Say for instance, if I'm going to put my hair in a braid, I usually wear my hair in two braids. The goddess braid thing. I usually wear my hair like that. So before I do that, I usually, put it in my, I usually apply my moisturizer. That's the key. That's the key right there. Moisturize it. That's the key. That's the key. You want to keep your hair moisturized, especially during winter. I don't really have to worry about my hair being dried out by the weather, the um, cold weather right now because I'm in Florida. I cannot stress how much moisturizing your hair is important. The oils that I use in my hair, I'm not really a big oil junkie. Like, you have some people that use olive oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, peppermint oil, every oil in the book. They use for at least three months. I was only using my coconut oil. My coconut oil. My raw coconut oil. It looks like this. Raw coconut oil. 100% natural coconut oil. No additives. No nothing. Just coconut straight out of the coconut you don't want to use the ones with salt that they have for cooking because salt is not good for your hair salt is not good for your hair so I use this and if I'm not using my coconut oil I'm using my okay peppermint oil and it's paraben free and it's for your hair and your skin but I only use it for my hair it looks like this and I just stole this from my mom. I saw her with it and I stole it. And I never returned it. <laughs> I use, I also use that one. It's okay. Eh, it's okay. And I recently went and purchased this DNA Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And it's a miracle oil treatment. And it also has coconut oil. And this is sulfate free, paraben free. It doesn't have mineral oil. It doesn't have any synthetic color and it wasn't tested on animals. And I like to go for natural oils, the ones that don't contain parabens or sulfates or you know all those unnatural things. And also I forgot to mention that I use this of ugh, I cannot pronounce this word to save my life. <laughs> now I also use this a Foji Pro Vitamin Leave-in Conditioner. Looks like this. I use this as a heat protectant whenever I decide to um, straighten my hair. I use this along with the Tresemme heat protectant whenever I'm straightening my hair, which I only do probably once or twice a year. And I've been using this as my leave-in conditioner lately and I've seen a huge difference. So I really love this stuff. For my gel, if you don't know by now, if you haven't noticed by now, I use the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel. I used to use the olive oil gel, but 
I stopped using it because it made my hair flaky. Less flakes with this, the argan oil one that I do with the olive oil one. And I mentioned in my last video, I think it was the um, the flexi rod video. I mentioned that I stopped using this, and what I meant by that, I stopped using this to do my washing goals. That's what I meant. And I've been seeing a lot of people try the flaxseed to make gel, so I decided to try that. When did I try that? I tried that. Today's Monday, and I tried that. I believe it was Thursday. I made it Thursday. And I tried it the same day. I co-washed my hair and I and I tried to use it for my wash and go. And and I did like the flaxseed gel, but one thing I didn't like about it, one thing I noticed was that it was gathering up my skin. It made me look like I had crazy glue on my hair. It made me look like I had a lace frontal. You know how people look when they have a lace frontal and just ugh. That's how it made the front of my hair look. So I didn't like that. I put the castor oil inside the flaxi gel to so that it can moisture my hair for so it can further moisturize my hair and after two days of using that bad boy in my hair the smell I can't even dis I can describe that smell you ever smell old banana that's how it smells it's, your hair is gonna just smell like rotten fruits that's my experience with it but the thing I like about it, it made my hair so soft. Like, it made my hair so soft. I've never been able to put my hair in a ponytail and have it be like that. It made my hair so soft. My hair was so silky. My hair was super soft. I'm going to try making it again, but this time I won't use the um castor oil in my hair i would probably use the peppermint oil because i think it's the castor oil because if you know castor oil it has a smell to it so this time i think i use the peppermint oil instead and see if it still has that funky smell and another thing that i use for my wash and goes is this right here this is the curls blueberry bliss curl control jelly and i use this in my last video and i really love this stuff i really 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 love this stuff it makes my hair feel like silk when I apply it I really love this stuff I use this today to put my hair in a bun along with my eco styler gel but I noticed when I use this um, to put my hair in buns or to lay my hair down before I use the eco styler gel my waves they be on swim see my waves be like the only thing I dislike about this product is the price I think it was I got this at Target for $14.99. The only thing I would say I don't like about it is the price. And also, I think it would be better if they put this in like a jar or something that they put the gels in because what I have to do to get this product out be like. <laughs> I have to fight to get the product out. I think they should in the future put these in jars. So Curls Company, if you're watching this video, please put these in jars. Please. It'll be so convenient for people like me with no muscle. Please. So I guess that's it for products that I use in my hair. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for all who stayed subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you.